Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Viera and today I will show you how to make this ornament. I'm uh, hoping that you like it. It's not that hard to make. It comes from two pieces putting together right here in the middle. Uh, it's nice size. As you see, when I'm holding it with my two hands, um, it's it's really nice size. Now you do have a, a couple of options. Like I started with four double crochets um, sections in a circle. You can start it with six or even eight, but then it's gonna be a humongous uh, this is starting with a four in a circle. Now, as you see, it's kind of fills up when you put it in a balloon. Even when, when you start, it's kind of puffy looking, but then it's kind of uh, straight up um, as you put it, like I said, in the balloon. So it's something different. I hope, like I said, you'll like, and let's make it. I use 1.40 millimeter hook. Now this thread, it's number 10, but you can make it in 20 as well. And I start with chaining eight. It's kind of uh, make the opening small, but we cannot uh, use more in a chain just because we're starting only with four groups of a double crochet. So we start with the eight chain, like I said, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight closing up the circle that try to put that tail behind and find my circle which it's impossible for some reason. I don't know what I did. Ah, uh, I hate myself. Okay, let's, let's start it again. I don't know what I did there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, see if I'll be more lucky this time. I never seen anybody else who does the videos going through so much trouble than I do. This is just ridiculous. Anyway, chaining three as a first double crochet. And we put one more double crochet in a circle. So we have two double crochets, chain one, making two double crochets, one and two, I mean, this is the second one, chain one, and we already kind of tried to spread them out because in the end, it's gonna be more space right there. So one double crochet. My hands are so dry, I can't even grab the yarn. Okay, so two and chain one. So now we have a three groups and we need only one more. One and two and 
chain one. So we have uh, four groups. Like I said, you can start with six. I'm just going to do with four and the one I showed you, start with the four as well. And then you close the circle on the top of those three chains. Now, see, it's kind of like a like this but it, when you put the balloon in there it strains up so anyway now we have to slip stitch it where we have a chain one and we start with chaining two as a first half double crochet yarn over be making one more yarn over so now we have three going through them all chain three yarn over and in the same space Oops, we're doing half stitches. So one, two, and three. And through them all. So we have a group of two in the same spot with the chaining three. Now we chain three between, and again, in a one chain opening so we're skipping two double crochets and going into the next spot chaining three and in the same oops i'm losing it all unbelievable okay chaining three and again i probably should just skip it all and start another row so two and three how lucky i going to be right now okay i was so as you see we have a halfway done two half stitches chaining three and another section of half stitches with a chain three between and i do have that right here already done So the way you're closing the circle, chaining three, and you're going into on the top of the, the those uh, half stitches. Oh, okay, no luck. Like that. So. It's kind of starts straining up. Now, again, you slip stitch in the middle. I mean, in those three chains. Now you're chaining three, but it's a half stitch of um, yarn over twice on the hook. And we kind of, uh, Going to do the same thing. So we have two yarn over twice. So we have three yarn over twice. Now this time we have four 
half stitches. Like that. And now we put them through all. Chain three. Yarn over twice, same spot, but we finishing up all the way. And uh, I'm going back, not three, but five. So two more chains, yarn over twice. We need more space between. Okay, so we finish once. Yarn over twice. And now we, in the same spot, we're doing half stitches. So one. Did I put a five stitches between? Uh, three, four, and five. Sorry about it. Now you yarn over twice, going in the same. I'm screwing it up big time. Now I'm sure some of you are gonna complain about my video. Sorry. But for those who has a patient with me, I do appreciate it. Okay, so we have three, yarn over twice, and four. And through them all. So now it looks like this. We have five chains between and full uh, yarn over twice, triple. I think it's called triple. Now we're chaining only two between the section. And then yarn over twice. We're skipping this because we chain two for that. Going into this area and doing it the same thing. So yarn over twice. Yarn over twice. So we have three and one more and pull them through the all. Now chain five, yarn over twice. Chain five, yarn over twice, and do the same thing once, twice, now that's the third one. And one more. Through them all. So it looks like this and I will just chain in two and continue the same pattern. Okay. So. Oops. Nope, I don't have that one. So let's finish. I guess I have to finish now because I don't have it. So 
So everybody, everybody's ready for a Thanksgiving. I'm uh, going to see my kids. So hopefully we have fun. And I hope you as well. But if not, that's what you're gonna do what I'm doing right now on a Thanksgiving day, just relaxing, enjoying, drinking eggnog, playing with my dogs, I can't believe it, I, I didn't do this part. So I would have that saved, but at least it's not that much, so. And like I said, I'm not a fast one. I've been crocheting since I was 10, but I never got the speed. I guess because I'm uh, wrapping the yarn around my finger like crazy. Nobody's doing it anymore. I probably don't. I'm the only one who does it. Okay, so I, I'm skipping this part. It's, it's gonna be the same thing in here as well, but I'm just going to finish it by putting I'm in chaining two and slip stitch on the top of it. Okay, so that's how you finish up the row and now we're doing this. So, okay, so this part is going to be like you chain three as a first double crochet, then you do six double crochet inside the, this. So this is going to be one, two, three. Four, five, and six. So it's together seven. You just did the first double crochet we start on the top of those below. Now you chain one only chain one and then you do six in here so one two three four five and six and then you do one over here on the top of here so that's makes seven on this side as well and you chain three one two three in between and again you start on the top of here six 
double crochet inside chain one six double crochet and the seven double crochet would be on the top of here and then you chaining three between so let's say sign some time in here and so you chain three and you slip stitch on the top of three right here so we have that Now we have to slip stitch again. Once. Twice. Three times. And four times. So we get in here. Now chain three. As a first half stitch, yarn over twice, going into the second one. Yarn over times three, the three times. The fourth one we are making in here. Now we have four and through them all. Chain five. Yarn over twice. We make one whole one inside chain five and we do the same thing so one inside this opening yarn over twice and three right here okay so we have this now you chain five three four five yarn over twice going into this opening making the whole thing chain three one two three yarn over twice and be making like a v-shape inside it looks like this. So we're chaining five. Yarn over twice. And you can count from here one, two, three in the third one. And you do those half stitches as we did in the beginning and then you just go all around which i have it right here i need to invest in a camera or something so i would not have to restart every row over and over again because that takes me forever but it looks like this, I chain five and I slip stitch on top of those four. And let's see what the next row is supposed to be like. Okay, I got it. Okay. So, 
It looks like this so far. So now you slip stitch inside. And we making, I mean, chaining three as a first double crochet, like always. And we put five double crochet, two, three, four, and five. And I believe we're chaining three between. Let's see. Am I chaining three? Be yeah. Chaining three between. So you're making, I mean, I chain three and then you make five double crochet in, in a second opening right there. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have this. And now what's the next step? Okay, we're chaining five between, so one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, and we make seven double crochet into the V shape. So, seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now again, chain five, And we're doing the same thing. Five double crochet here, chain three, five double crochet, chain five, seven double crochet, chain five, and you're going in here again, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet. So we have that done, which brings us here. And I slip stitch on the top of the chain three. Now from this point on, we're always going to make five double crochet here and five double crochet right there. So this part is not going to change. One, two, three for the first double crochet. Making five double crochet, two, Uh, somewhere in there, I lost one, but it, they need to be a five double crochet, so three, four, and five. The only thing changing right now, and that's where it's gonna multiply, is this middle so we chaining five three four five and single crochet chain five and five double crochet right here so one two four and five so 
so it looks like this now this part not changing all the way almost to the end which means chaining seven two three four five six seven it's always going to be seven now count one two three in the third one we make single crochet chain one skip one and a single crochet in the next and again seven one two three four five six and seven five double crochets Chaining five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, five, double crochet, five, double crochet. And so on till you go all the way to the end now i think i have this one so i'm not going to do all of it because it's the same thing i'm just gonna show you the second row so again we slip stitch on the top of the third chain now we chaining three as a first double crochet and like I said, it's always going to be five double crochets right there. So that's two, three, four, and five. And we chaining five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet. So like I said, this is going to grow, spread, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and five double crochets. So one, so see? We start with two, now we have three. And again, like I said, seven, um, you, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain, single crochet right there on the top of the single crochet below. Then you chain one, single crochet on the top of the single crochet and chain seven. and five double crochet so i said i'm not going to go all the way to the top because it's just going to be the same same repeat for how long i'm going to show you right now because i have this one done so see it's not straight but it doesn't matter So you can count from here 
or you can count this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you need seven rows, okay? Seven. Or you can come from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because the, the uh, eighth row, we're going to put those five double crochet on this side and five double crochet on that side together. And that's how you close this circle. And I have this right here. So I'm not even sure if I should be showing you this because it's just a simple thing. <clears throat> so this one, you put half stitches of five on this side, five of that side. So you have a 10 half stitches in here and then you put the yarn through all the loops. So that's what missing on the second part because you always have to have one finished, the other one's not. So, um, and the way you started, so nobody would uh, be confused. I, I might as well probably put it apart because that's, that's the beginning. Okay, so you put only uh, five double crochet in here and then you continue with five chains and single crochet till you get in here. Then you have a five double crochet and five double crochet together. You couldn't do that in the beginning because you only start with the five double crochet but when you go all around it you get to this point so you have two and the only thing you have to do is a slip stitch Hopefully you know what I'm talking about and how it needs to be done. And again, because we just have a five right here, I won't be able to uh, put 10 together. So we just start with the five. One, two, three, three, four, and five, and through them all, chain two. Now you're chaining five for this, but when you're putting them all together, you only chain two. And the way we're going to put them together is that you have a wrong side again wrong side that's the first thing and then you skip this and you're going into this first loop so i chain two go in a loop single crochet or a slip stitch your choice so again, chain two, come back, chain two,
I'm trying to kind of keep them in the middle. So it would make nice, nice square, not a crooked one. So like I said, the first half you make with those half stitches and the second half you're doing half stitches now with clothing. So now I have nine. Okay. So chaining two. Don't forget that. I'm talking so then I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay almost there so it's not that hard if i can do it anybody can do it just yeah, make sure don't skip anything. Always check how your work look like. Okay, so now I'm coming to those 10 right here. So what do you do? Yarn over and doing those half stitches. So once. Two times, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I have all these loops on the hook. It's, it's nice to kind of stretch them out and then try put them all through. So let's come like that. Maybe give a one extra stitch because this is kind of nice for closing. And then I put two chains right there and going all around it. Chain two, coming back. Now I'm going to show you what we did so far and how it look like. So now when you put the balloon in there, it's going to nicely stretch. <clears throat> And like I said, when you go all around, all around it and come right here, you, you notice that we already did the half and have it still in here. So when you put those five, well, uh, how am I gonna you 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 put five half and when you have a five five loops on a hook just insert on the top of it right here so you would end up with this if you have a five loops right here and you have a one right there you're gonna have a six loops and then you know take the yarn or thread through the six 
loop and finish up the the uh, ending. It's probably not going to be as nice as this, but that's okay. I mean, you can hide that on your tree unless, and even when you give it to somebody, nobody is going to know the difference. So it's, it's, it's doable. But right now it looks like that. So when you stretch it, you'll see that one half is apart from the other, but connecting with the square. And uh, it all depends on the yarn you use and how much you stretch it on a balloon. Okay. So where is my six? I mean the ending. I'll see if I can if I can t tell the difference. Yeah, it's it's right here. See, it's kind of like crooked because you know you can help it. This one's pretty nice, but this where I was ending it and uh, it doesn't look that pretty. And on this half, it's probably this right here. Doesn't look pretty either, but it is what it is. You know, like it's not crazy noticeable, but it is. And plus, if you stretch it more, see, this is where I was splicing it. So those squares are look really pretty. And this one's, you know, if I put more air in the balloon, it might, you know, do a different, but then it won't be probably uh, nice and round as it is right now. So it's all depends, you know, how you put the balloon in there. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you know, you know what I'm, was doing and what I was talking about. <laughs> oh my God. Or if you have any problems, just ask me and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll try to explain again or something. And I definitely gonna put another video um, link, you know, from the lady I was, you know, trying to uh, done it from. So. If you have a problem with my video, you still can check hers, even when uh, it's not in English, but it's probably, you know, still helpful. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good holidays and I'll see you next time.